Chi to the boy. What's up, Rich? Trying to get myself a little situated here on a Tuesday afternoon. Thank you very much. Welcome, 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 Alec D. Who gonna cause? Who gonna cause? Fat Sonin, what's up there? Fat <laughs> Holy shit, it's Alec. Carlos Rodriguez, welcome to the program. Only you matter to with the Momo face. Jay Masters. That's not Jay. Oh, I gotta twist my cap so I can drink my drink. I'm drinking hot stuff, you know why? I'm drinking some of this shit. Stuff, you know why? Because today, thank you very much, Hot Stuff Nutritional Jack Ham presents a muscle a sport a radio. I'm my girl's house to say, you don't hold back. She's busy. Oh, well, not that she would be offended. I hope you're eating her cunt and asshole. Who's gonna call? Remember, while you're looking at pussy, play with her asshole. Just a little fun. Just play with the door. Just like make sure you're gonna go, whoops. Get it wet first. Mm-hmm. And you go. Get it in there. Tell her right away. You're an ass man. And you don't just look at it. You lick it and fuck it. Critten Drahake. What's up, Critten? Critten. It's fun to say that name. It's almost as fun as getting your asshole eaten, but not that much fun. What's up, bro? How are you? Woo, fat. Woo. The red and black. What's up? Music's still going, look at that. Long intro, no vegetable soup. Karan, what's up there? Karano, Karano Soprano. Yeah, hi, uh, uh, Captain Mar- Maroni in Bellevue, please. What town? Sucker, I said Bellevue! I've had my Red Wings for a while, but you think it was crazy. I'm gonna choose that. Isn't it gonna taste so good? When you eat your girlfriend's period, didn't it taste good? Do I miss the Brooklyn Disco scene? Yes, I do. Damn, Joe, feeding himself with the rock and bone. <laughs> Nikki to the D, to the two, to the tree, to the two, to the tree. Nikki, are you going to come to see Greg and I? Are you going to come see us live? If you don't, I'm going to be pissed. Cocksucker, you. <laughs> you little prick. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. March 30th, Saturday. Greg Valentino, Joe Pietaro at the 5% party at Strong and Shapely Gym. We're going to be doing live shows, pre-recorded. Greg and Joe TV back! It didn't really taste like much, kind of neutral. It gives it a nice little, send me an SMM share. Who are you, fucking soup? Send me, buy me, make me. (laughs) What do I look like over here, Rockefeller's cunt? (laughs) Hi, Crystal. I saw you join the program. I shouldn't curse. There's a lady present. I never curse in front of a lady. (laughs) Crystal, when do you want to do your show so I can plug it for you and hopefully it won't be a bad fucking Instagram day? When Instagram was down last week, Crystal was going to do the show completely naked with a butt plug in there, and they fucking Instagram was down. So she couldn't do it. And that's it. You, you get one shot at that. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I might do tomorrow's show completely naked with a butt plug inserted. I never cursed in front of a lady. Oh, the irony! Send me some used MSM thongs. I don't have any more. They're sold out. <laughs> Shooey! Fuck, I forgot today, Tuesday. I thought it was Monday. Yes, it's Tuesday. You do it whenever you want to do it. I will promote it then. Let's do it here. Come on. What do you mean, come on? You want to come on me? That's gay. (laughs) gay. But yes, Greg and Joe TV will be back at uh, Strong and Shapely Gym. I'll be uh, be there with a table set up. We'll be doing some shows. You're living in the past, Chris. <laughs> it's Wednesday in India. First day in the period, I went there like I lost my keys in there. <laughs> hey, Slice, what's up, buddy? Am I sure it's Tuesday? Last night, let me check again. Oh, yeah, I jerked off this morning, so I got a little sticky stain in my fucking drawers. Mikey Mike, what's up, Mikey? And uh, Vampiro, as we're talking about eating periods. <laughs> Joe's been chatting with Bane, uh Oh, Joe, have been, oh, you've been chatting with Jay. Yes, he is. Lord Jesus, where is Ariana? We cannot find him. What's the best gym in Brooklyn? My favorite was Bensonhurst Gym. That's where I trained. 
But there used to be Bath Beach. There was tons of old school gyms. They're all fucking gone now. There was Powerhouse. Um, that was next to uh, the what's gone now to one of the best diners, the Vegas diners uh, on 86th Street. I used to train at a Jack Lane on 86th Street, and there was a lot of pussy in that gym. Joe's got mayonnaise in his undies. Yes, thoughts on Tony Hughes impreg impregnating a working girl? Oh, you mean a prostitute? I didn't hear about that. I wouldn't want to do that. Old school gyms are fantastic. Yes, they're not that around much, 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 much more. There she is, our next cover girl, Tia Renee. What's up, Tia? Jay Trenfinger. Is Jay Trenfinger on here? Blue Reaction, welcome. Tia, I cannot wait to see your story. I sent it to the designer. I tried to give Brandon a shot, followed him and figured I'd chat with him on his live. The guy is cool, this just tells you to promote him. Yeah, I can't stand that fucking uh, needy attitude. He said so in RX. He's cool with it, though. Who? Uh, eating pussy? <laughs> What do you mean, Tony? Huge, all right. Hey, Carter G, what's up, Rick? Hello, Blue Reaction. Fuck that. Laying in bed naked next to my Mikey. Okay, request <laughs> Crazy Fit Freak Live. Can you come in live? Just cover, cover, but leave a little, you know, those beautiful fucking tits. Black Tiger Sex Machine pills. <laughs> Cindy Kaspoisen, what's up? I had to stop following Brandon and nonstop live noting. I know, it, every second. I can't take a shit without three fucking Brandons going live notifications. Pretty ballsy for raw dogging a working girl. Yeah, you're telling me, bro. That's right. I didn't even think of that. Koki, what's up? What do you think about the white guy who sprayed down a mosque? I think he's a fucking savage. Too bad he didn't get fucking blown away by the cops in, uh, in uh, New Zealand. I think he's a piece of shit. Did you say come live? Yes, I did, Alec. I want to see Crazy Fit Freak and Crazy Hawk naked, but I want Mike to show his goods, not Thea. We're gay on this show. Who's Brandon? That's the vegetable soup guy with the uh, the glasses and the um, like the lazy eye. Guys don't guys see don't give them a platform. Population control. Oh, Crazy Fit Freak. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see Brandon here. No, man, but he shot a fucking three-year-old kid or something. A three- or five-year-old kid. I mean, you're a fucking piece of shit if you fucking shoot a kid. I don't give a... F there is no circumstances... For, well, yes, there is. If a three-year-old kid has a fucking uh, IED or something, that's different. You know, but I'm talking about a kid running out of a fucking place you're shooting. We need more people to shoot. Oh, my God. <laughs> I saw that he live-streamed it on the Facebook. What's the lowest crime rate in the world New Zealand was? He's a fucking idiot. He would do no good. It won't help. And did you hear me he said sub to PewDiePie? I don't get it. What am I missing? Brandon blocked me. Oh, God. Lucky you. <laughs> I haven't seen the video. No. Gav! What's up, Gav? Always posting those sweet young ladies with them beautiful asses that we all want to bang. <laughs> I didn't see the video. I don't know. I mean, is it worth seeing? I have no pro I used to love, uh, what was that website years ago? Like about 15 years ago. It had all of the beheadings on it and shit. I used to watch that. Brandon got jealous when I hit on Bella. Is he banging her? Is he, is that, his, are they a number, an item? Best gore. No, it was, um, it was a one word thing. Faces of Death was the original VHS fucking sh there was two of them it's like a meme while shooting he encouraged people to subscribe to youtube oh okay <laughs> that guy he didn't say watch muscle sport radio <laughs> uh, they would have blamed me like they blame trump <laughs> somehow trump got blamed for shooting and i know isn't it ridiculous mike isn't it fucking so gay the guy says he likes Donald Trump. You know what? He has no control over what people do that fucking like him. Uh, no such thing as bad publicity. Well, in that case, yes, it might be. Thoughts on... Kim, tell Jay I love him. No homo. Hey, Haynes, what's up, Kim Haynes? Hello, everyone. There she is, the blonde bombshell herself. The one I want to bang in the butt. <laughs> 
Eek, fuk, or crazy shit, or inhumanity. Bad boys are rock and roll. What's up, buddy? Are you laying in bed with your wife again? Because Thea and Mike are doing the same. You guys should do like a, a, a fucking, a foursome, like, you know, like Skype sex. <laughs> Saddam Hussein, Mexico. Yes, that I saw. His hanging. Terrible video. I mean, for something that happened only, what, 2000, whatever it was. Trump is also getting blamed for who? New York City Gambino boss getting killed. That I have a theory on. That fucking guy did not uh, kill him or he was paid to kill him and say he was over a girl. A fucking boss does not walk out of the house alone, first of all. It was a fucking set. Something's up with that. He wasn't going to just be going, oh, I'm going to get the paper, honey. <laughs> what was wrong with you Sunday? Love that bikini pic. Oh, and thank you. <laughs> Me too. What's my favorite color? <laughs> Trump got blamed for that one. Tree had died in L.A. You a freak, boy. Yes, I am. Bad boys are rock and roll. He hit his car to get him outside. Yeah, but there, I, I have a feeling that it was a setup. I have a feeling that... Um, he, he he had something to do with... Uh, somebody paid him to do that. The New Zealand shooting was taken down. Chris Wackis, what's up, pal? But, um, yeah, because the uh, when Al Sharpton got stabbed in my old neighborhood before the last march, Yusef Hawkins' Day of Outrage march, the, uh, the, the boys in the neighborhood, I'll leave it at that, kind of set that guy up to go there and psych them all up to go stab him. Um, he wasn't all there mentally, that guy, so I kind of look at that and I'm like... I know that statue limitations is over too, so it doesn't matter. But I know because I don't think he got charged for attempted murder. I think he got charged with assault. So attempted murder would have no statute uh, connected to it. Damn it! I want to know who everyone is talking about. Who? Brandon? That's vegetable soup to you, Renee. Big Rob made a video from the rifle store looking not so happy. Big Rob's a fucking big asshole. <laughs> damn good for 50. You're damn right. <laughs> she looks amazing. Northeast still make good money. What? Hold on, hold on. I missed that one. Italian mob. Oh, I don't know, bro. I'm not part of it. I don't know. Uh, I, I, if, I, if I was part of the mob, I wouldn't be doing this fucking program. <laughs> Yeah, so make sure you go to HotStuffNutritionals.com, buy Hot Stuff, because they're the ones that fucking make this program possible. Do you think he will hunt deer or something else? Who? Fucking Big Rob Fitness? He's going to fucking hunt his own cunt. <laughs> what is Brandon's Instagram? Ecos, E-C-H-O-U-S, full giant. I don't know what the fuck that means. Is Bing Frank still affiliated or working for MSM? Um, he's not doing the show. That's the one Greg took over the country crush. But Frank and I are still friends. Frank just needed some time off, and he said he was unable to do it. And he can come back anytime he likes. I love Big Frank. Uh, P hey, P Kenny on there. What's up, Ken? What do you think about PJ Braun facing jail time for selling illegal supplements? Funny you should ask, because I am actually writing a feature. A feature for the next issue, the one that Miss Thea is going to be on the cover, and it's called Same Old Shit, and it's about how all supplements are exactly the same unless they're spiked, and of course I referenced the PJ and, and Singerman thing. I did meet Arnold, I took a picture with them, but I didn't hang out with them. It was like, can I have a picture with you? Sure, why not? To her. Why well, make him sound Italian? And they took the picture and that was it, so I... <laughs> PJ is going to, I, like I said on the show last week, I, I know all of those guys, and the ones I don't know, I've, I've been told by friends such as Mike and Thea that they're good people, so I don't want anybody to get hurt. I mean, that's, you know, that's not, uh, you know, it doesn't, uh, I, if they're in business, there's always a chance I can get an ad from them, so I want them all to be out of jail. Spiked with what? With juice, bro. <laughs> Hot stuff, when it first came out in the late 90s, was spiked with juice. It's the worst kept secret in the industry. And even though I'm fucking them, my sponsor, it's true. Everybody knew it. But um, the story I'm writing is about how all supplements are the same. And the only ones that are different 
is, are the ones that are spiked. And usually it's the first batch. So everybody goes, oh, that stuff's great. Pro hormones. Yeah, but it's it's like juicy kind of stuff. Stuff that, that you can't sell anymore. They put a whole sup industry at risk being regulated. It's always going to be regulated. It's not, but it is. If they were, if you read the indictment, the P.J. Braun, Aaron Sigmund indictment, they have unindicted conspiracy number th one, two, three. Somebody in their company ratted them out. And I'm sure P.J. and Aaron know exactly who it was. Because it's so obvious if you're reading the thing and you're one of the named ones in there. It makes it legal. Yes, you're right, Thea. It, the FDA does fuck things up. And the uh, anabolic control... Anabolic Steroids uh, Control Act of 91, and then in 2001, pro-hormones were added to it. That's when all of that stuff, like Mark McGuire's stuff, got taken off of the market. All the, um, and, and, what was that? An Anadryl or whatever? What the fuck was the name of that Mark McGuire shit? Uh, would you headbutt or Serbert Ocasio-Cortez? I would let her shit on me. I hate her. Then I would mush her face in her own shit. <laughs> Jason's in all around now. <laughs> I think pro hormone should be totally legal. Me too, bro. But uh, Andro, yes, thank you. Andro uh, and the stone, the send the on. But Andro, thank you, Wolfpack. Do they have a special place for spikers? In that case, they'll be meeting Cosby soon. <laughs> I don't know. It's different. Uh, I don't. There's a lot of things that were fucking. I don't know if jacked with the three, like Stevie's asking. I never tried that, so I can't say from personal experience. But I tried this when it first came out, and whoa, Nelly, was it good. <laughs> uh, fuck me trying to get CBD and dietary supplements. I, I think anybody who's... It's insane nowadays. Yes, thank you. Or, or, or Andros, the stuff was... I bought that as soon as I fucking read that story. I said, I want to buy this shit. <laughs> they sold out like crazy till they got taken away. Hey, there's Joe Schwartz. We're going to see Joe Schwartz on March 30th. Greg Valentino also will be in the house. Greg and Joe TV coming back. And we're going to have Joe Schwartz as a guest on one of our first fucking times together again. Drink from Bill Cosby? Yes, I would because I want him to bang me in the pail. He's rich and he's black, so he's big. <laughs> Has Brandon had a fallout with you? Not that I know of. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Guns are illegal. I know. Isn't that weird, Shuey? Guns are legal in America, not for the Democrats. <laughs> now I need to get TRT. You should be on TRT anyway. It's a good excuse to juice. <laughs> but yes, um, Johnny Bravo, um, it was doing the, uh, uh, nobody's, uh, you know, his, you know, RX didn't want to talk about it and all of that. <laughs> and deer piss. Yes, that deer antler spray, right? <laughs> That is the biggest crock of shite in the world, bro. <laughs> um, but, uh, uh, and I told Johnny yesterday, I said, Palumbo's friends with Aaron. He used to work at RX. Jubaka, they used to call him. He's not going to talk bad about him. I don't blame him. You know, I said, I didn't talk about it because I didn't give a fuck about it. But I'm doing the story because it's, it's like, well, I can't get away from it. So I'm like, what's, what's the muscle sport? And Russian Bear was great stuff, Mikey. I loved Russian Bear stuff. That was a good fucking, um, I remember they had a big, there was a lot of protein in each scoop too. Um, I, I said, let, let me fucking do something that only MSM would do. And that is basically saying to all my sponsors, these guys included, everything is the same. <laughs> Unless they spike it. It works. It's going to work, but don't think it's going to do what dr drugs do. <laughs> you can get all of this stuff if you eat real food, right? But people don't have the time to do all of that. And I'm not talking the piano real food when he used that fucking, uh, he was saying, real, spend your money on real food. And he was plugging a new supplement he had called real food. I'm not doing that fucking horse shit. What I'm saying is, real food is going to give you all of this stuff, Crystal's favorite anabolic BCAAs, all of this protein, all of this other shit, right? All of this whatever. <laughs> But who has the time to do all of that? So you supplement it with supplements. Hence the, the fucking definition of the fucking word. People think, oh, wow, it's a supplement. I don't have to worry about eating good. I can eat shit and take this. No, asshole. <laughs> 
But if you don't have time to fucking eat every two hours, you take a protein shake. You have a protein shake before bed to keep your, uh, you know, your uh, starvation mode nonsense. But if you fucking, you just did plug real food for me, Joe, that you have to admit. That was so fucking, I, was the, when I fucking heard about that, I was like, oh my God, you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh my God, Joe is 100% correct. You fight me on this all the time, Steve. Russian bear had real animal glands and stuff and a good shit. Russian bear was great. But these guys, hot stuff, I'll tell you they have a product that I've used that I've not seen elsewhere. It's called Glandol, and it's gland stuff. It's not just your protein pre-workout shit. Sure, pre-workout's going to get you going up like this. Yeah, I feel great. So is coffee. I mean, it's the same shit. But if you don't have time to fucking sit there and make a cup of coffee, or you, you buy a fucking pre-workout, you drink it, and you go. Did I meet Nick Nix? Yes, I did an interview with Nick. I got I got it at the Arnold. I got to put that one up. Agent Orange. Yes, that was spiked. <laughs> the old Agent Orange. Eat good shit. It's not always easy, though. I don't know if Russian Bear... I haven't seen it in years, Mike. But I loved I loved the label. It was really cool, too. It had a really cool fucking label. Johnny Juice! What's up, Johnny? Real red Indian food? I don't get it. Real food pancakes are the shit, Steve. What is, what are, what is real food pancakes? Like, you're talking about IHOP? <laughs> I thought you weren't allowed to interview. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yes, I guess, I guess we'll both be in trouble now. <laughs> Nick, too. <laughs> And then people are saying, why didn't Nick Strength and Power talk about this thing? He works for Redcon. I can't, I don't, see, if that's where you butter your bread, then I, I can't shit on you for not, I don't give a fuck about all of that shit. If I tell my fucking guys, like Paul from Hot Stuff, Paul, if I tell people not, there's nothing like this in the world, people are going to know it's fucking bullshit. If I tell people this is good stuff to take, but it's not better than steroids, it sounds more believable and you're going to buy it. Joe, you look jack in the 90s. What did you take? I was skinny, bro. I was a natty. Natty. I was only at the time, I was, I never tried Redcon stuff. See, I don't buy shit. I, 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 if, I, if I have an advertiser, they give me free stuff. And Aaron don't advertise with me. I'd love to take his money and his stuff. <laughs> Tacos around the mall. Like, um, at the time, I was taking this stuff. I guess I was natty. <laughs> Shoe Smith was jacked in 01. So you're saying he's shitty looking now? <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> I was a little skinny. I didn't have much muscles on me. That was before I was... Well, I actually did use some steroids when I was 18, almost 19. Maybe a little into my 19th year. But then I became a police at 20, so I had to stop taking steroids. Um, but I, they didn't test for it, and when we were on this shit, uh, nobody knew what was in it. I mean, you, I didn't knowingly. And that's why a lot of those fucking ball players, when they go, I was really just taking fucking supplements, a lot of them aren't lying because you see what happens like this whole Blackstone thing. They're not the first, and they're not going to be the last to fucking spike their shit. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, <laughs> being tested for the big C, the big casino, the most healthy thing you can eat is pussy. Agreed, big C, you were NYPD. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I didn't want to take fucking juice and take a chance on getting fired for fucking an extra fucking 10 pounds of muscle. Fuck that. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> uh, yes, but now that I'm old, I'm allowed to have TRT, and I'm taking advantage of it. Muscle Tech was the original spike company. Yeah, and they had all the guys, bro, and then they just... <laughs> damn, sir, I'll be thinking of you. Oh, thank you, Wolfpack. Not much to thank, though. I was a drunk. <laughs> what did Blackstone spike with? Um, I, you know what, I, I, I'd have to read the whole PDF, read the PDF, uh, skim through it, it's a lot of legalese that it's boring, 
but uh, it kind of basically says that they were using ingredients that were banned here, but they were getting them from China. Uh, Joe's best person for honest about subs is Shuey Shoesmith. All right, Steve, give us your opinion on supplements. <laughs> that was my dream job. I'm too old now. There is no age limit, bro. They used to be 35. They took that away. How old are you? You can still take it. The job blows now. <laughs> DMMA, uh, DMAA was the main thing Blackstone spiked with. All right, Mikey knows. <sighs> DMAA. What exactly is that now? Is that was that a uh, um, a, a SARM or a pro hormone? Thirty nine. You're not too old, bro. They used to be thirty five. They threw the somebody did a lawsuit and they had to throw that out. There are no height requirements. Yes, there are midget NYPD cops. Yes. Ronnie Coleman was a cop and he was on juices, Joe. Yeah, but it's I you know, it's different. He was on uh, in a different department and I didn't want to take a chance. I, I wasn't I wasn't gonna fucking chance a career on, on some fucking juice. Obviously Ronnie Coleman was. Big C Green on the Blackstone page. What do you mean? Naki, yo, what's up? A drug called DEXA. DMMA is a brand st a band stim. A stimulant? What the fuck does that do? Wakes you up? <laughs> a fucking, have a fucking cup of espresso, you fucking fucks. <laughs> what's up, Naki? A stimulant? Shit. They don't test for juice. For cause, they can. If there's a test for cause, which means a supervisor thinks you're doing something you shouldn't be doing, they can test for certain things, i.e. steroids. When I was a cop, they only tested for fucking, you know, the term I hate, recreational drugs. Uh, exactly what is, why is it banned, Joe? Lawsuit, you. I don't, you know what? It, once it's banned, then it's banned. You know, and they say you can't use it. In Miami, we get Cuban coladas, poor man's pre workout. <laughs> Agreed, double espresso for STEM. Why, yeah, why fucking spike something with an uh, uh, illegal stimulant? I, that I don't understand. I can see putting like a steroid in there so you get, you think you're going to get muscles from this fucking stuff. If you stick a coffee bean in your ass, would that be considered a stimulant? Yes! Only if there's a dick pushing it in from behind. <laughs> a big dick! A big, hard, fucking purple, burbulous, fucking circumcised head driven. <laughs> oh, but that's the story. I, uh, I, I chose to write a feature all about the supplement industry, and I shall be talking with my friend Kurt, Kirk Radomski, who is an encyclopedia when it comes to this stuff and steroids. It wasn't illegal when they first put in it. Yeah, but then they had to pull it all off the shelves, and only a stim if you're trying to get a pump does not make sense. Oh, wow. So it's even fucking makes no sense. Makes, makes no sense whatsoever to put something like that in your supplement um, and chance getting fucking nailed. Like I said, if they're going to put something in there, at least make it a juice kind of thing. Kirk is the man. Love his stories in the mess clubhouse. Yes, I, I interviewed Kirk at the Arnold. He was at the Arnold. Um, and I definitely want to talk to him about this story. Oh, his stuff about the Mets is insane with the hookers and the cocaine and shit. And uh, everything. I like the arginine supplement. I like stem, but you have to cycle off. Like like a tricycle. <laughs> oh, David Cohn. David Cohn, I had much respect for him after he got caught showing a girl in the fucking stands his dick from the fucking, uh, he was like warming up in a bullpen, he was like starting the next night, and he was getting stretched out, <laughs> and he showed his dick like he was jerking off. Mike Trout. Um, I love Mike Trout, Nick. Um, I, I, w I would say he deserves to be the highest pl uh, paid player in the game because I feel he is the best player in the game. However... He does get injuries sometimes, and even though he's in shape, he's a bulky shape. 
So he's not like one of these like lean string bean baseball player guys. So he has a tendency to get hurt. Cause, and he plays fucking balls to the wall, literally sometimes out there. So that I will be worried about. I will be worried about um, him getting hurt, and it's guaranteed. David Cohen, yes, he was jerking off. In the, uh, he was more, it wasn't like, oh, let me sneak a jerk in like I do. He was, what he was doing was, he was there was like pretty girls in there, and he pulled his cock out. <laughs> Did it, uh, was it him? There was a couple of them in spring training one year. They were tag teaming some broad or something at somebody's house. <laughs> Should have been David Cock. <laughs> but Cohn was a great fucking pitcher. I'm not a big fan of him as an announcer with the Yankees, though. They're using mushrooms for nootropics for focus and concentration instead of him. Like magic mushrooms, Joe? Like fucking shrooms? Like the fucking Manson family took? <laughs> Who are the worst owners? The Dolans or the Wilp? Oh, I got to go with Dolan on that one. Uh, Will Ponds are just fucking living in the past and they're hanging on for dear life because they lost so much money with uh, Madoff. Uh, Dolan is just a dick. Like, he banned that fan. I mean, come on. Bad enough he banned the Oak. <laughs> He's going to ban a fan now? Joe sees someone else knows their Stewie. <laughs> see someone else knows their Stewie. <laughs> Squeezing the penis head. Yes, I am. <laughs> knows their stuff. I know my stuff. My stuff in my pants. Oh, shit. But I'm also wearing a Hot Stuff shirt. See, it's got the Hot Stuff logo. Where is that? There it is. There it is. Oh. So that's the story with, uh, with my story. <laughs> I'm going to talk about the supplement industry and how um, a lot of it is uh, smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. I got to go this summer to City Field. Where do you live? Are you in New York or Wolfpack? The sponsor is HotStuffNutritionals.com. Playing pocket pool. Oh, you know what? My dad, that was a saying he got. and He got it from his mom, my grandmother, who passed in 78. <laughs> what are you playing? Pocket pool? <laughs> I can't believe you said that, Nucky. I love you even more now. <laughs> I loved you more and more anyway. <laughs> Big C Green got mentioned on the Blackstone and PJ. But on what page, though? What do you mean, Mike? Not in the indictment. You're talking about, like, on their website? I'm confused. I'm confused, Mikey. It makes it easy when you take one of your pockets. I caught a home and I see your handle fits in a... A little know what you're really doing. Yeah, you got to have a deep pocket and like baggy sweatpants on their Instagram. Now, why was Caleb on their Instagram? I guess I'll look it up. Cut a hole into the pants pocket. Yeah, then you can like fucking really grip the cock. Good. Crazy Hawk, how funny was Jared's live stream last night? I didn't watch it. Can anybody uh, explain it? Did he have gay sex on it? Because then if not... I'm going to top his. <laughs> Come on in, Percy. <laughs> it's your cue. <laughs> I got to go. Take care. Sure. As soon as I start talking about having gay sex, she taps out. <laughs> Bye, Haynes. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Naked woman everywhere here at my house. So then go live, you prick. I want to move to Flushing. Are you a Chinese person? If not, you're going to hate it. Although Dishi Mao pork buns are fantastic. Lenny Person's Last Direction. Kim, you can't leave. Lenny Person's Last Direction is here. <laughs> he will lose that erection if you leave. Flushing is a shithole. They call so many parts of Queens flushing. It's hard to determine what they really mean about what is flushing for real. Just don't point the direction. What? The cock in the pants? Jared gets more trolls on his lives than I thought. Eh, troll, it's funny though. It's, well, you gotta take a joke. He was asking for someone to go live, so wait, hold on. Whoa, I lost you. Go live with him under the Sammy Davis account, was pissing in my toilet bowl in a totally. Oh, come on. Joe, can you salute my onion rings and dumplings? Those are the reason I'm silent. Salute to Hugo the Claws onion rings and dumplings. That's a fucking odd combination, bro. What, like Chinese food dumplings? Flushing Italian and Polish. Uh, it used to be like working class, all different, like Irish, Italian, you know, all different white, but it's all Asian now. Flushing is what happens when you take too much. 
Niacin. <laughs> Larry Bird doesn't do much ball handling at night as you do in an hour. No Italians in Elmhurst. Um, Elmhurst is very Spanish now. Very Spanish. There is a pocket um, where there is a little bit Italians in... Uh, is that Elmhurst? I'm trying to think. where. where to, uh, no, what's that? Corona, I'm thinking of. The Corona Ice King. So forget it. <laughs> Crazy Hawk was about to beat up a dolphin from the... What is this dolphin from the 70s? I keep seeing Korean dumplings, like Dishi Mao. I get dumplings from the Chinese jerk sometimes. Didn't know that was you peeing on his lawn. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that like Big Rob with the ball ass spread? <laughs> Have you ever been sponge worthy, Joe? What do you mean sponge worthy, Nick? Like a sponge bath in a hua house? <laughs> My old man is from Almars. You're talking late sixties, early seventies. Oh, what the f Queens is. It's basically a fucking third world fucking nation right now. Practically the whole fucking borough. It's nothing like it was back then, including my beloved Brooklyn. It's like uh, Bensonhurst, there's Jews, Chinese, fucking Muslims, and a little bit Italian. <laughs> Where if you were an Italian, you really couldn't even walk down the block without getting chased with pitchforks and torches. That's from a Seinfeld episode. What, ancient dolphins? I saw the, 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 the profile, but I wasn't sure what, it, what the reference was. He wouldn't go back. I don't blame him. I don't think it's... Well, Elmhurst... Yeah, Elmhurst is... Um, Jackson Heights, Elmhurst. That area is very, very um, Hispanic. There's a lot of fags there heading to Astoria. Astoria, I was talking to my friend Mike, who's a Greek. And I think he lives in Astoria still. But he told me it's a lot different than it used to be. It's still okay, but it's not, you know, nowhere over the Paisans gone. Fucking suburbs, man. Guys like myself, abandoned ship. Big Rob, Mike, like Big Blob, like a huge anus that talks. Jared nipples are on the live show. His nipples were on, so he was shirtless, what you're trying to say. So he's attracting other men. Being sponge worthy. Oh, okay, I thought the dolphin. What exactly, I don't remember that. I know Seinfeld, but I don't know them all. Like, I can't go crazy, like with Honeymoon is lines. I don't know Seinfeld lines. But uh, did it have to do with uh, uh, getting, like, you know cleaned by the sponge like in, in, a, in, a, in a, a rubbing tub before you get tugged. Little Lily is basically, yeah, it's, it's like a fucking half a block now. Is the suit mad at you? Not that I'm aware of. <clears throat> Crab eyes. I'm on Long Island now, yes. I have abandoned Brooklyn and I have moved out to the suburbs. Norton! Norton, get down here, Norton! The sponge contraceptive. Oh, okay. Who doesn't love a good sponge bath? Oh, Thea, I just pictured you in the fucking sponge bath, and I got a fucking Woody. <laughs> you, I don't have crabs. <laughs> Suffolk County. Yes, I am in Suffolk County. Michael Jacoby, welcome to the show. Mikey J, get a sponge bath. You got a sponge bath on Saturday. Uh, with Thea, did you just have two in a bathtub? Did you just make love in that bathtub? And were there some fucking floating fishies when you were done? They discontinued the sponge bar control. A little to the left, man. Yeah, a little more to the right. I love that in the Van Halen song. And Unchained. I kind of like the way the line runs back, back of your stockings, too. Like those kind of high heel shoes. No, 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 don't take it. Leave them on, leave them on. Yeah, yeah, a little more to the right. Creepy Uncle Joe, did he announce yet? He, I know he made that slip. The slip of the tongue. <laughs> Bring all of those fucking cunt Democrats on. Trump is going to fucking chew them up and spit them all out. I will be there, Crystal. <laughs> Gav. I will be there! Sonja Steen Kemp. What's up, Sonja? Mine is always hanging on the right. Yes, I wear right too, Johnny. I always wear right. Friday has become Jack Friday. Yes! May getting my penis touched right now. Aw. How sweet. Mikey's getting his penis touched and he's sharing it all with us. 
Oh, Mikey, we're all jealous of Mikey because Thea Renee's in the bath with him touching his fucking cock. Beto cucking the moment he announced. What exactly is Beto stamp? I know he's trying to sound like a fucking Spanish guy, but what is it? I've never heard of Beto. Is it like short for another name? Because I've never heard of it till this dipshit. Never heard of her, Michael Jacoby. <laughs> Beto. <laughs> he fucking said some things that he had to apologize for. Stop. Fucking pussies. Mike loves his bath time. Oh, do you have boats in there? Sailboats? <laughs> I got a dinghy right here. <laughs> Penis touching should be a sport. Yes, John. <laughs> look at my look at my headphones. I'm scratching my ear. Beto needs to run as an independent. Oh, that would be great. Wouldn't that be great? We'll finally get revenge for Ross Perot fucking getting that cock-eating fuck Clinton in. And that's the only reason why Hillary became a fucking, uh, an important person is because her husband was the president. Lorenzo! What's up, Lorenzo? Hi, are you, pal? Welcome to Hot Stuff Presents Muscle Sport Radio. Yes, we're on the air Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday this week for our three IG Lives. So we're hoping you guys can join us for the next fucking foray tomorrow. Ross Perot, never heard of her. He was that little Texas fucking billionaire with fucking uh, baby New Year he is. And he had Admiral James Stockdale as his VP. Uh, I voted for Ross Perot. I did like Ross Perot, but I didn't think he had a chance to win. So I voted for Bush. <clears throat> rubber Ducky. You don't wear Rubber Duckies, do you? <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey. CEO of Starbucks. Yeah, that fucking, uh, what is it, Schultz or something his name is? <laughs> I hope he runs as an independent because he will take some Democratic votes. And I hope they put one of those real commie cunts like a fucking King Kamala Harris on as the fucking running. She is going to fucking, it is going to be a fucking, it's going to be a fucking blanket party for that bitch at the debate. She is clueless. He was the first person I voted. I voted for Ronald Redon. Did I? I gotta think. No, it might have been Bush, because Reagan was 84. How old was I? Yeah, no, I was too young. So I voted for George H.W. Bush twice. Free coffee for every vote. What? Don't forget the rubber duck, Joe. If I was in the fucking bath with Thea naked, the last thing on my mind would be a rubber ducky. I'm still godlike. Okay. <laughs> that is a pretty cool name. Welcome to the program, bro. <laughs> is that Dale Chucky e. Cheese in that picture? <laughs> oh, fuck on rye, bro. <clears throat> How do you feel about Andrew Yang and his proposal for a universally basing in the Oh, my God. I was listening to fucking... Um, was it the Patriot Channel last night? And they, that came... That is the... Lorenzo, that is the most disgusting fucking thing. They, they want... It's basically they want everybody to get a free thousand dollars a month. And the fucking Newark... The black mayor in Newark, one of the shittiest fucking places on the planet, crime-wise, is... I think he either instituted that or he's trying to institute it. Did you take a pic of Dale and I together? You're in there too? I it's hard for me to see that little thing. You like Bush, Gav? Yes. <laughs> I don't like Jeb Bush. He's a bit of a fucking dick. <laughs> oh, $1,000 a month. Free money. Where is it going to come from? Alec, you took the words out of my fucking mouth along with the fucking cum. Because I was about to say that. There is no such thing as free money. Just like the Green New Deal, the uh, if you're willing, un unable or unwilling to work, it's going to come from somewhere. <laughs> Ocasio-Cortez said, we'll just print more money. <laughs> oh, my God. And they say fucking Trump is fucking stupid. <laughs> I'll admit, Trump is very crass many times, but the man is not stupid. Um, no, you, Joe, did you take a pic of Dale and I at the Arnold? I, oh, I don't know. I don't think I did, Crystal. 
But we can do a screenshot from the live if we need to, because he was there with us in the live. Or Tom, automation apparently, so jobs are replaced by machines. Yes, I would love that. So all of these assholes who fought for the $15 flip a burger fucking minimum wage that think they can fucking support a family are going to get pig slapped because of those dopey fucking Democrats. Would you partake in a threesome with your absolute favorite girl, but also Michelle? Yes, I won't have to even finish reading it. I would bang Michelle Obama just on, you know, just, just for itself. I do not find her attractive, no. Sex isn't always attraction. Sometimes it's like just you need to blow a load, and you don't feel like jerking off again. <laughs> we were comparing chess. I don't remember getting that picture. Maybe Dale's phone. That's the only thing I can think of. If you don't have it and I don't have it, then Dale must have it. Per Andrew Yang in the Rogan podcast, the money would come from automation tax by taxing companies who remove jobs via technology and automation. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, exact, who exactly is this Andrew Yang guy? Is he one of these fucking Democrats running for president, too? It's, it's hard to keep track. The yin and the yang. But I do know the fucking black mayor of Newark has that uh, as part of his platform. Yeah, my platform. Stop. Please, you fucking dopes. Free money. <laughs> work! Put an honest day's work in, you cocksuckers. Please! Jesus Christ, I had two jobs when I was 16. So I worked seven days a fucking week just because I wanted money to buy a car so I could fuck girls in it. What year were you born? 1967. The same year that uh, the Summer of Love for the hippies. My girlfriend and I want to find out what animal you are in the Chinese years. I'm guessing the year of the rat pig snake. <laughs> well, I don't know that fucking Chinese calendar thing, but <laughs> whatever 67 is. You're a kid, Stana, 75. I was already jerking off for many years by then. He's supposed to be good on free speech, apparently, since Twitter is mostly being biased to the left. Yes, his Twitter is definitely, all social media is left bias. Your chest wins for me, Crystal. Yes, I would definitely say, if you compare Dale Chance and Crystal Wildfire's chests, Crystal all the way. It says sheep. Wow. <laughs> That's funny. Any love for 2,000 babies, Joe? I have love for everybody. Except Democrats. <laughs> you were born in 2000? Oh my God. I was a fucking detective for nine years by then. <laughs> I was a cop for 13. Almost 14. My generation is going to cure AIDS. My generation is going to fucking <laughs> do nothing. I was born in 1985. The year I graduated high school. <laughs> Franklin Delano Roosevelt in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, man. As long as you guys have no problem watching this show, it doesn't matter how old I am. Because you keep me young! <laughs> oh, so who should I jerk off to next? Any, any, any suggestions? Someone in the industry? Somebody in the movies? Somebody that I can fucking bump into in the street? Give me suggestions. I'm always open. <laughs> work is the whole point of the UBI. People want to work, but automation will move up to eight percent of just jobs, especially blue collar jobs. And Andrew proposed that if people had the year of the ox, jerk off to Selena Gomez. Not a bad idea. I like her. My oldest child was born in '97. But you see, the automation is a direct result of them pushing menial jobs. And high pay. Juliana Malacani? Definitely. Oh, I would love that. She looks nice and f she's like fuller now. Because she's not getting all ripped and everything. She looks good. Financial buffer, they would be more able to reskill. But you see, if they don't fucking fight for stupid minimum wage that's out of control for most companies to pay. Like McDonald's could afford it. But I'm talking about a fucking uh, a small independently owned deli, like my son, he works for a deli. It's off the books, cash. But if it was on the books, they couldn't afford to pay him $15 an hour. He's a fucking 18-year-old kid. 
automation is inevitable for big companies like McDonald's, Wendy's, and shit like that. But the small companies, Jessica Weaver, I don't know who that is. Is it anyone related to Dennis Weaver? Um, you know, Chester Proudfoot, Chester Good. <laughs> It isn't rising due to minimum wage. Well, automation's inevitable in certain aspects, but for fucking small businesses, they will not be able to um, uh, afford those machines. They'd rather pay a person to make a hamburger than a machine. I was talking about the Blackstone and Redcon thing earlier in the show. I'm going to write an article, feature article, in the same uh, in, in the issue with Thea on the cover. Uh, basically, I wish the best to all those guys. I hope that this shit... They don't get any jail time. They're going to probably lose money. Asset forfeiture, they're going to lose some of their goodies, their toys. But all supplement companies are the same unless they spike them and they got caught. That's the bottom line. They're all the same. If you spike, you take a chance on getting caught. And you also take a chance on out selling out your first batch. But you better change it quick. <laughs> if one country doesn't grow their tech capabilities, they will fall behind. Well, fucking Vietnam still has fucking people pissing off their elbows. <laughs> I do work at the IRS, Joe. I did not hear shit about pay under the table. I heard nothing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, you're all right, though. You're not a rat. <laughs> I didn't say the name of the deli. The Democrats are holding Blackstone back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, so um, that's my thought on automation is that uh, corporations can do it. But if you have a small, independently owned, small business, you know, like I have the auto blow, right? But it's not as good as a real blow job. So I will still pay prostitutes to suck my cock. <laughs> Uh, Haggis Willie works for the FBI. He told me not to tell everyone. <laughs> I promise you, the word is safe with me. Dupe, I am no fucking stool pigeon. You're not a stoolie? You're not Huggy Bear? <laughs> Who remembers Huggy Bear from Starsky and Hutch? <laughs> he was like a pimp. <laughs> oh. Huggy Bear, typical 70s black television character with the leisure suit and the hat and the high heels, like platform shoes. <laughs> Yo, I ain't saying nothing, no telling about Huggy. You, you didn't hear it from me, but... Michelle Obama puts a mask on your wife and she allows you entry through the back door to you smash puss, bro. Michelle Obama puts a mask on of my wife Oh, I can't. So I'm fucking Michelle Obama, but I'm pretending it's my wife? Yes, I would. <laughs> and that would technically not be cheating since she's wearing a wife mask. <laughs> Does it, I know. Where is Ariana? I messaged. I have nothing. No return message. I encourage people to have a cash side business before all cash is made illegal. Yes, it's only going to be legal if you're black. You get it for free and nobody else can have it. Trust me, I think you will like her, Joe. She's a blonde model with massive boobs. Who? Who, Gav? I missed the name. Michelle Obama looks like a monkey, not racist. She just really does look like one. I actually, I'm not attracted to her, but I, there's some reason why I would fuck her. And probably just because I'm a disgusting, perverted piece of shit. Hey, Sarah's Fixation. What's up, baby? How are you? And there's Tim2084. Blackstone Labs fucked? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I think they're going to lose money. I think they'll uh, stem the tide. They'll, uh, they'll come out of it at the end um, short of cash. But I think that they'll be able to, you know, they're going to have to keep everything fucking, you know, clean. Because you know they're going to be fucking waiting to fuck them over. So if they spike anything. And I know that was from a long time. If Robert DiMaggio was named as part of Blackstone Labs... That was years and years and years ago, like 2012. Yo ass for cash. Oh, Jessica Weaver. Oh, okay, Gab, now I remember. So she doesn't look like Dennis Weaver. Boss man PJ is not fucked. Mega good lawyer and no illegal ingredients were taken. I'm just going by the papers that are online, like the court papers, PDF, the indictment.